the recommended change from a GE42 to a GE45. We're looking at a 17% increase on the hourly wage across the board by making this change or by approving this proposal today. And we're not making any change to the position title. It's still assistant city attorney. However, we're seeing a 17% increase. And as we try to be mindful of our operating expenses and, and wages as we go forward, um, I felt that that warranted uh, further discussion uh, because, for instance, um, the starting wage for an assistant city attorney would be currently at 4187, <coughs> and under this proposal, that would increase to 4914. So again, this has nothing to do with the current staff. I'm looking at this more from long-term perspective of the city of Dubuque mm -hmm. and what this would be doing if in the future we opted to again have a second, a city, second assistant city attorney on staff. Um, so again, it, it is a 17% increase and again with no change in the duties, so to speak, <coughs> and, and title, um, I do have a concern with that. And I don't know how other members of this council feel, but I feel that that does seem like it is a, a bit of an extreme jump and would be putting the city in a position to now again pay more for the same position that we were paying today. We've uh, always expected that our policy was that we would get uh, the best legal services at the most reasonable cost and um, I think that that's always been the case and just uh, doing a little rough figuring with a calculator here I think uh, we're looking at uh, if you took a standard 40-hour uh, work week over 52 weeks in a year and divided that out, you're getting, uh, looks like if I'm, my math is correct, uh, an hourly rate of uh, just a hair under $65 an hour. And I don't think that you would find an attorney in the private sector that would be billing at an hourly rate of $65 an hour in today's day and age. So. Um, I, uh, I think that uh, we're getting uh, good value and uh, I think that uh, what you have here is a uh, person that uh, is uh, an exceptional attorney that has topped out at the pay grade that they're at and moving up one and I think that uh, given the fact that uh, our city attorney that uh, is retiring after many, many years, there will be an increased workload on both of the current assistant city attorneys. So I, for one, do not want to be the one that votes against a proposal that saves the taxpayers $40,000 a year. You know, if we're going to be responsible to the mm -hmm. taxpayers of Dubuque, I think, again, um, you know, we should look at not only the adjustment that we make on our pay grades, but we, that we also start to take into consideration <coughs> how extended we're becoming when it comes to the cost per capita, uh, when it comes to supporting some of these roles. Because, uh, of course, as our population grows, <coughs> that number is variable. That number is going to change. And if there was a set number that we operated under, of course, there's always going to be a future possibility that there'd be you know, further opportunities to increase that. Um, but at least it puts us in a position where you know, now we're incentivized to continue to bring new business and continue to increase our population as a city. Uh, and, and tax base to be able to support the staff at the levels that we feel are appropriate. Uh, so again, I know um, when we talked that that's what had me supporting this uh, was the fact that I did not want to keep him from receiving a 2.5% increase that the other staff received. Um, but I know during that same discussion, I was very open about the fact that I, I still feel that looking at where we are today and placing some type of cap in place, however that is structured, is needed, um, again, in order to ensure the uh, protection of the taxpayers and our city and our debt and what we're doing. Okay. Well, I, uh, I fully support the salary recommendation because I think it reflects uh, Mike's consistent high quality performance uh, and leadership for over 23 years in this community. And Mike is a big part of why Dubuque is uh, that city of choice for so many people. And uh, I think we've been privileged to have a person uh, with his integrity and, and uh, his demonstrated perseverance. And uh, I think as a community, we'd be much different if we had a, a different city manager that didn't have that uh, <coughs> commitment, that education, and uh, that drive to continue to make this a better place for everyone, every one of our citizens. So I intend to uh, support it. <laughs>